What's up, everybody? This is Fletch. Yes. Oh yeah, I come to you today with a yabo that I wasn't expecting of at all. What I was expecting was a package from the Road King Piper. Eric, you the man, you a genius. You know, he makes pipe uh, holders or whatnot. And he's got this printing machine that does this weird kind of magic stuff that creates stuff out of, I guess, computer stuff. I don't know how that works, but it's pretty cool. So he makes these pipes and they're customizable and I've been meaning to grab one from him. Uh, but then he introduced uh, one of these travel ones that's like an actual cup, like an ashtray thing with a holder built onto it. So I was like, oh, I gotta score one of those for my work truck. Cause I'd be hitting a pipe in between calls and stuff or especially on the way. Cause I got a two hour drive to Austin every morning and then two hour drive back home. So that gives me a perfect time to catch up on the YTPC and smoke. Um, although it's been really busy lately, so sorry, you haven't seen a lot of videos from me. But anyway, I was like, I got to score one of those from him. So I don't remember if he hit me, if I hit him up, I was like, hey man, I want to get one of those, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, hey, bro, I'll work on this for you. Let me know, here's the price and I'll shoot it over to you. So, and I got some cool videos on text of him making it and all that good stuff. So it came in today and I was like, oh, yes. And you hear it jingling and I was like, man, the freaking post office broke it. Dang it, UPS. United States Postal Service, whoever brought it. Dang you. You always stare at my packages. Like, they're this for real, dude. Like, stuff's always happening to my mouth. I'm like, it's just high code. See, was, sometimes they lose it. They lost a pipe one time for two months. And it came from Ireland. And I don't know how they lost it, but it kept on going around in like a big circle for like ever until they finally caught it. I was like, how, how does this happen, right? So it came all busting up and I was like, man, that's weird. Why is it making noise? It should just be what it is. And then I pull out what he made. Look how dope this is, dude. Deep. So I can set this perfectly because it's the size of a cup holder. Boom shakalaka. Just like that. I'm driving along. Oh, you know what? I need to put my pipe down real quick. Boom. Drop it in there. And it stays legit. Today, if you're wondering what I'm smoking on, it's Sun Bear. Visit your local tobacconist. That's how I found this. Happened to walk into one, boom. I'll take that 10. This is really great, actually, by the way, guys. Uh, it's got a little bit of aged tobaccos in there, some Bosma and Izmir, and some uh, Bright Virginias from Canada, I think. And it's got uh, Jeremy's Honey. Man, it's pretty legit. People say it's an aromatic. I don't know. Kind of maybe, but it's got honey flavor to it. It's great. I love this hot summer smoke indeed. Anyway, put that back over there. So, yeah. So, now I got me a travel go, buddy. But that noise, you know, that, that clinking around was this. It's even engraved. It says Super Glide Fletch. Yes! So now I got me two pipe stands. One that I'm going to keep over here with my awesome pipe tray from the Jordan, the Prairie Pipe Shop. Love that thing. I use this all the time. PPS. Get you a PPS. Pipe prep station's off the chain. So now I got me an extra holder too. That is so sick. And you can definitely tell what it says, man. This was a total shocker. And as if that wasn't enough, right? I wish I would have saved this, you know, did the boxing open alive. Cause I had no idea this was going down. There was a bro note, hey man, ha ha ha, here's a surprise Yabo. And I was like, what? So, and actually that travel ashtray was reasonably priced and good quality so i highly recommend y'all hit up eric roking piper immediately and gets you one of those especially if you're a guy that works out in the field or travel around or a lot or you know a lot or whatever that's gonna come in handy so yeah and the other day i was thinking you know what i've only got two flakes left of some peter stoke could be luxury navy flakes so i'm about to order some not anymore you see that the whole bottom roll 
two or three sheets thick, three sheets thick all the way across. Heavy. This is amazing. I love this. If you guys haven't had Peter Stoker be luxury Navy flake, got to get you some, right? I was like, dang, what? Yes, dude, I was running out. Like, I only had two bowls left. Not anymore. Woo! Thank you, Roteen Piper. Yes, dude, rocks. And then, I haven't even tried this one from Peter Stoker, be, but the luxury twist flake. Same, same business, all the way across the bottom row. Good weight to it. Oh man, you just messed through the bag, dude. Yes, this is amazing. And it keeps on getting better and better and better. Cause there's so many tobaccos I haven't tried yet that he sent me. Yes, there's more. Peter Stoker be proper English. I love English. Go ahead and smell this one. Oh yeah. So I haven't tried the proper English. I bet you it is proper. It's like, good eye, sir. Oh wait, that's Australian, Never mind. Hang on, I'll get it right in a minute. You sound like you're from London. Yeah, right. Anyway, look, I'm bad at impressions. So I got that. Then I got some Sutliff Old Professor it's English, and this is very, very dark. So I'm sure this has got some lot of key off in it. Oh, that smells good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hefty sample, hefty sample. So that's four bags of tobacco. Not done yet. Cornell Deal, Junkyard Dog. Oh, oh, oh. I've been wanting to try some of this too. Dude, this is so amazing, dude. Like I was blown away. I was like, I was just expecting a little pipe holder man and ashtray for our truck, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. Gonna be biting up with this stuff. Man, that's amazing. I've been wanting to try that. And you, you just, you, you can't, I go until the locals back in a lot. I may pay a little more, but I like the experience. So they also have stuff like that laying off the chain. And this one, I'm really happy about because I've been wanting to try this. I love GLPs and this is Telegraph Hill. Look at that. That is big time. I mean, Roking don't mess around, man. Us Texas boys, when we give you something, it's gonna be legit. Good enough, big time. There ain't gonna be no bowl. This is amazing, brother. Eric, you were the man. I can't wait to ride with you again. I hope that your, your baby's getting fixed up for you. <clears throat> if you don't know the Road King Piper, I'm gonna leave a link under this video below. Click like and subscribe, this dude is amazing. We will probably do another tobacco meetup coming up soon. Uh, you know, he rides, I ride, road glide Sully. We all on Harleys. Um, you know, we all love tobacco. Uh, we like to ride out to these meetings. You don't have to. Keep informed, keep watching us. We're gonna be planning that. We're all busy in the summer, back to school. We all have this, but I can feel that it's coming up real soon. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. I gotta leave tomorrow to go out on tour. We're gonna go play some music. It's gonna be great for about a week. We're doing a little Texas run around. So, um, maybe I'll get some shots from that or something. I'll throw that up. Maybe you guys can see some scenes from that. And if you're interested, let me know and I might do that. You're amazing, brother. You rock, Road King. Peace.